So this is Flop. It's a web browser and Flop is built on Firefox. So it's similar to Firefox. So this is a website. So these are the features. And if you go on their website, you can read more about Flop. So I'm going to click on download and on the platform section, there's a drop down tab here and you have all these choices. You can download Flop for Windows 64 bit online installer. There's offline installer. There's 32 bit. There's for Mac OS and Linux. I'm going to select 64 bit online installer. So this is the XE file that I have to download. I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to install it. So it creates an icon on the desktop. So I'll open Flop. So this is the home page. So on the top bar here, I'll just right click and I'm going to select the menu bar and it will show the menu bar. So on the menu bar, there's file. So these are listed on the file. There's edit. There's view. There's history. There's bookmark. There's tools. And this is the CSS tab. And this is the help tab. So on the right side, this is the application menu. So this is the sidebar. This is the node sidebar. I'll click on the node sidebar. This is how it looks. So you can type a new node here. You can also select new here. So this is the show browser manager sidebar. Show bookmark sidebar. This is the show history sidebar. This is the downloads. So this is a translate icon and this is from Google. And you can add a web panel on the browser sidebar. Just click on the plus icon. This is the extension. So if you want to add an extension, this is the passwords icon and this is settings. So here on the top right side, you can personalize new tab. I'll click on that. And manage more settings here. I'm going to click on settings. I can configure all of these. There's preferences on the general. So this is the startup here. It says always check if law is your default browser. I'm going to turn that off. You can make it default by just clicking on this. And if you want to open previous windows and tabs, you can leave this on. So this is the tab section and these are the settings. Open links in tabs instead of a new window. You can turn that off or on. You want to confirm before closing multiple tabs. You can turn that off or on. Go tab previews in the windows taskbar. Enable sleeping tabs. This is the settings. So these are the settings here. So this is a new tab position and you can configure this. Open new tabs at default position. Open new tabs at the end of the tab bar. Or open new tabs next to the current tab. This is mouse gestures. So here are the font settings. You can change the font here. So these are some of the settings on the browsing. So this is the network settings. And here you can configure a proxy. I'll click on design. So this is the browser appearance. So there are four options here. Firefox Proton. This is Firefox Photon. This is Flow Fluoral. And this is the Microsoft Fluent. I'm going to leave it as default. But this is the tab bar style. It is set at horizontal tab bar. I'm going to select multi-row and it requires a restart. I'll cancel that. So this is the vertical tab bar and this is experimental. I'm just going to select it. And this is how it shows here on the left side. You can also configure these settings. Show vertical tab bar on the right side of the window. Or show the open a new tab button inside the vertical tab bar. So I'm going to turn this off. So this is the tree style tab. 
and here's an explanation. So this is an extension add-on you can get from Mozilla. So on the tab bar, set as default, I'm going to select high tab bars on horizontal tab bar. And this is how it shows. I'm going to select the optimized browser for vertical tab bar. I'll select display tab bar underneath the toolbar. I'll select display tab bar at the bottom of the window and here it is. I'll select back default. So this is the bookmarks toolbar. Here are the settings. This is a navigation bar. And it says show the toolbar at the bottom of the flop. This is experimental. So this is the team mode. Here's dark. There's light. There's system appearance. This is the website appearance. It's set up automatic. This is light. Dark. And you can override the default colors for text, website, backgrounds, and links. This is other preferences. So I'll click on browser manager sidebar. And if you show the browser manager sidebar, I'll turn it off. It's off here. I'll turn it back on. And I can display the browser manager sidebar on the right. It's on the left now. But these are some other settings. Web panel settings. This is workspaces. Enable workspaces, it's on. I'll click on files and applications. Here you can configure the downloads, where to save files when you're downloading it from the browser. You can browse and select a location where you would like to use the downloads and you can act where you want to save files. You can turn this on. You can also use the red downloads icon when downloading. This is download notifications. These are the settings and you can configure the settings here to notify when a download finishes, this is the applications here. You can choose how flop handles the files you download from the web or the applications you use while browsing. I'll click on keyboard shortcuts and here you can configure keyboard shortcuts. So this is home. So here right now, the home page and new windows, it's set at flop home page. So when you open flop web browser, it's just going to default to flop home page. You can configure that. Just click on custom URL. And for example, type google.com. And this will be the home page. And this is a new tabs configuration. You can leave it as a blank page or flop home page. And also you can configure flop home background. So these are random images from Unsplash. So if you set it at random images from Unsplash, it's going to pull the images from the website Unsplash. So these are some other settings here. I'll click on search. So this is the search bar settings. Use the address bar for search and navigation. There's another option, add search bar in toolbar. I'm going to select that. And this is how it shows. So this is the default search engine. And you can configure your default search engine here. So here you can add a search engine. Just click on add and you can type the URL here. This is privacy and security. And here you can clear your data here, cookies and site data. And you can also configure Flop web browser to delete cookies and site data when Flop is closed. You can turn that on. So every time you do a search and when you close the browser, it's going to delete all the cookies and site data. These are the logins and passwords, and you can configure that here. Access save logins and passwords for a website. So if you don't want to save your passwords on a website, you can turn this off. You can clear the history here also. So this is the forms and autofill. So you can allow Windows single sign-on for Microsoft Work and School accounts. You can turn this on. This is forms on autofill, and here you will see your saved addresses, and you can learn more about it just by clicking on the link. This is history. You can clear the history, and you can always use private browser mode. If you want to browse it, remember your history. You can configure it here. There's remember history, never remember history. You can use custom settings. This is the address bar settings. So these are the permission settings for location, camera, microphone. These are some other settings. This is sync. So I'm going to click on extensions and teams. I'll select teams. So these are some of the teams. So this is the auto team. This is dark team. So this is Firefox team. So I'll select this team here. Click enable. This is how it shows. And this is a team with a light color scheme. I'll click enable. So I'm going to leave it as system team. So another feature of Flow Web Browser is the ability to split theme. So I have two tabs here, Wikipedia and Reddit. 
So to split the screen, I'll just right click Wikipedia tab and these are some menu options here and I'll select fixed in split view. So I have two options, show on the left or show on the right. So I'm going to select to show Wikipedia on the right side. I'll click on show on right. So I'll select Reddit and it's here on the right side. This is how it shows. I'll right click the tab again and I'll close the split tab. So I'll right click Reddit tab and then I'm going to select show on left. And this is how it shows. I'll right click the Reddit tab, close the split tab. I'll right click the Wikipedia tab. And select show on left. I'll close the split tab, right click the Reddit tab and select show on left. So these are some of the features of the web browser floor. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.